Hello, my beautiful friends. You incisive critters. <laughs> um, I really love you guys, and I'm just so thankful to have this space to communicate back and forth with you guys, and we've developed such a cool family, and uh, I'm deeply thankful for it. And to show my gratitude, I'm going to tell you about one of the most incredible and most witnessed and validated, really, macro PK displayer who almost nobody talks about. And he did some incredible stuff. And his story is an insight into these abilities and how macro PK can manifest. Uh, you guys know my whole uh, PK displayer theory. And there's all these different, uh, I guess, events that have to take place in order for this very, very rare occurrence to be able to happen. But uh, <clears throat> you can see on the phenomena chart from the previous video, this is just straight up psychokinesis. There's no other belief that it's UFOs or aliens or, you know, some sort of natural new physics or um well it could be a new physics it probably is but um it's not like ball lightning we haven't discovered yet this is something very different macro pk and pk displayers who can show extraordinary events um are in a special class <clears throat> of themselves and um it requires several th things to converge all at once and it's like clockwork and this case I'm going to tell you about is someone whose incredible abilities came out from his subconscious. Does this sound familiar? <laughs> from his subconscious while he was under extreme trauma and he was a savant. I'm not going to go into the other ones, but you should know some of the other characteristics, special conditions that it requires. But this case is from only 1983 in Strewsburg, Pennsylvania. A guy named Don Decker. Don Decker was a, a, a decent kid. He had an abusive family. Um, uh, he was in jail. He got a furlough from jail to go to his grandfather's funeral. And his grandfather had abused him terribly. So after his grandfather's funeral, he went back because it was furlough, and um, he went to a friend's house. And um, I'm trying to see if I have their name. Oh, it was Bob Kiefer and his wife. <laughs> so they went there, and uh, in a little bit, Don Decker suddenly kind of went into a trance. And all of a sudden, the walls started to beat up with water. Water was coming down from the ceiling. Water was coming up from the carpets. People were saying, and the witnesses were saying, that the water was going sideways across the room on occasion. And they were completely freaked out. They knew something extraordinary was going on. It wasn't just a pipe leak. And so they called the landlord, and he was Ron Van White. And Ron Van White also saw this incredible event. And after, <clears throat> uh, I guess, going through it for a while, they kind of got the vibe that maybe Don was it and asked Don to go to the neighbor's house across the street. So Don went to the neighbor's house across the street and um, it started happening again. And it happened really bad. Um, so they called the police and Officer Richard Wahlberg, not Donnie, this is Officer Richard Wahlberg, um, came and uh, witnessed the rain and then suddenly uh, Don Decker started to levitate, like literally levitate off the ground. There were numerous witnesses. And um, another woman uh, named Pam Scrofuma, Pam Scrofuma, also witnessed it there. And so, basically, to make a long story short, 
Uh, he ended up doing it a few times and then his furlough was up and he went back to jail. And one day a guard was messing with him just, you know, soon after, I guess. And um, he's like, how did your room, how did your cage get all, you know, your cell get all wet? And he's like, I can do it. I can make it rain anywhere. And the, uh, uh, the uh, corrections officer was like, oh, yeah, really? Okay, make it rain in the warden's office. And so the uh, guard goes down to the warden's office and uh, it's raining in the warden's office. And he was able to do this uh, on his own. He learned to get control, take control of it, especially when he went back to jail. And he could make it rain at distant places. They don't even know all that he's done or did. Then um, the... Um, Warden called the um, local reverend, a really well-respected Reverend Blackburn. And Reverend Blackburn gave him holy water and read all the stuff. Um, and uh, it went away. <laughs> Ding! That was psychokinesis. <clears throat> His ability to control physical matter around him went away. What does this case tell you about macro PK?